Hi guys, um, before I start the video, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed, commented on my videos, liked them, shared them on various places. Um, I'd like to thank my friends and my family for the encouragement that uh, they have shown me, the support that they have given me. I'm truly humbled by it and I just cannot say how much I really appreciate it. Um, it's given me the motivation I need to know that this is something that I should continue with um, because I am having an absolute blast. I really, really love it. I'm so excited to see what I can do in the future. Um, I hope you all keep watching. I hope I can meet new people and I hope I can entertain everyone because um, I do try my best. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's get on with the review. Pulp Fiction was released in 1994 and is directed by Quentin Tarantino and stars, hold on a second, I have a list here, <clears throat> John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, Bruce Willis, Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Amanda Plummer, Maria de Medeiros, Ving Rhames, Eric Stoltz, Rosanna Arquette, Peter Green and Christopher Walken. You know, your mother, she's very nice, I like her a lot. The plot of Pulp Fiction focuses around Marcellus Wallace, played by Ving Rhames, and his various associates. Most of the story actually ties into him, and nearly everyone in every part of the film has some connection to him. There are four main stories, I would say, that um, encompass the film. The first is to do with Jews and Vincent, two hitmen played respectively by Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta, as they uh, go to find guys that uh, owe money to uh, Marcellus. The second part of the story follows uh, a boxer named Butch. Do I say enough five times fast when you're drunk? As he throws a fight and Marcellus puts a head out on him. His part of the story basically follows his relationship with his girlfriend, uh, his past, meeting up with Marcellus again and what ends up happening to the two of them. The fourth story takes place in a diner and sort of it ties up uh, every part of the film because the first scene is in the diner and the final scene is in the diner uh, and you have two characters played by Tim Roth and Amanda Plummer they're two robbers and they actually have a lot to do with what ties in everything so I'll just give short summaries of each part of the story and what I like about them the first story of Jews and Vincent is probably my favourite and easily the most iconic part of the film. Um, Jews and Vincent, they go to find Brett and Marvin and... What do you call the other guy? The other guy doesn't matter. Uh, basically, uh, they owe Marcellus uh, money. So, um, they go... Jews and Vincent go and they ask nicely. Well, I say they ask nicely. They might not come off as that. But... Um, yeah, they go into the apartment and they have uh, a discussion with Brad about the money. And uh, there the iconic uh, Ezekiel 25 verse 17 speech takes place. I actually have it memorised, that's how sad I am. I won't do it here though. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and good will shepherds the weak and the helpless through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. That's my gun. Now the second aspect of the story is the second most memorable in my opinion and leads to probably the most infamous scene in the film and also uh, my favourite. Seriously guys, if you haven't seen it, type in Pulp Fiction, the pawn shop scene. It'll change your life. I know it changed mine. The third aspect of the story follows Vincent as he takes Mia Wallace out for the night to Jack Rabbit Slims, which is this awesome throwback uh, to the 50s restaurant where you have Steve Buscemi coming in as uh, Buddy Holly. You know, the waiters are all 
like fifties pop stars like Buddy Holly and Marlon Monroe and everything, and uh, they have a twist competition, and they win, and uh, they come back to the house. There's, you know, throughout the whole scene, there's just this simmering sexual tension, and when they eventually get back to the house, the scene really does not go the way you're expecting it to. It's absolutely fantastic the way it goes. Now the fourth and final aspect. Uh, and it sort of encompasses the whole plot as it's fe featured in uh, the first scene and the end scene is this scene uh, in this diner with the characters of Honey Bunny and Pumpkin <laughs> played by uh, Amanda Plummer and Tim Roth as they're, they're just two robbers um, casing it and eventually the uh, robot and everything uh, I won't go into too much detail in addition to great storytelling and a fantastic ensemble cast, Quentin Tarantino shows his flair and genius as a director when he uses his techniques such as uh, the long tracking shot where you have the camera. The camera follows Jules and Vincent. This is my camera. It follows Jules and Vincent to the end of this corridor and the camera stays as you can see them at the end of the corridor having a conversation. And earlier... They say that uh, it's going to take them, you no, know, they're going to uh, wait for 10 minutes, and exactly 10 minutes passes. So the scene is recorded in real time just to, to give that film, just to give the scene a, a sense of realism that uh, you very rarely see nowadays. So, in closing, I would just like to say that uh, this film, it's a modern masterpiece. It is truly a mark of great filmmaking and if any of you haven't seen it, first of all, what have you been doing with your life? Second of all, go and see it. You won't regret it. It's absolutely, it's a joy to watch. And for the first time, I'm going to give a film a grade on YouTube. This film gets an A+. So guys, this was my first review on YouTube. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, it's very... Very weird for me to be doing this now, you know, um, I'm not used to it, uh, it's a challenge, but hey, everyone likes a challenge, don't they? Um, I'm not going to lie, I felt like it was a wee bit awkward, do you guys think it was awkward? I mean, come on, I, I want you to be honest with me, uh, comment down below if you think it was. So anyway guys, um, if you would, please like the video, um, comment anything and everything down below, um, please hit that subscribe button, it would really help me a lot. Um, as always, I appreciate um, anything that I get off you guys. Um, it's what's keeping me motivated to do this. Um, I'm on a journey and I've, I've only started, I'm only taking baby steps, but hopefully the one's in the right direction. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed my review of Pulp Fiction. Um, I, I would love suggestions to what you think I should review next. Um, uh, I want to try and see a wide variety of films this year, um, as I always do, uh, but now for a reason. Uh, so anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys soon, bye.